Morning, welcome to Gay Bonsai in South West Cornwall. Today is the uh, 6th of February 2024. Uh, today I'm going to do some work on another Japanese black pie. This is about um, two, three years old. As you can see, the candles are starting to move on this one. Um, so I've got quite a few black pines, but I thought I'd try with this one. It's got a nice trunk and nice bark coming. It's just about, well, I guess it's about pencil thick. I've got a nice lower branch here. And then I've got three branches, a tiny one there. And then the top. So what I thought I'd try and do, because I've never done this before, is uh, do a hard chop back here. I uh, cut this section out, so it'll be quite a bit off the tree. Um, cut one of these branches out, so I've got two to train on. And then see if I can get some back budding encouraging on the stem. It's got a little bit of a curve. I don't think I'm going to be able to put any more uh, curves in it by wiring. So this will be like an experiment to see how it goes. So make, I'll make the first chop here at the top. I've got the trusty tears. I'll go in here. Get the blade nearest. I'll make the first cut here. And then what I'll do is tidy it up. So I've actually got four branches in here. Let's have a look. We've got one going out that way, so I think these keep these two. So we'll go in here carefully and snip that one out. Also snip this one out. And I'll cut this a bit closer to the top, like so. I hope that's not too close. I'll put some wound sealant on it, but I don't think pines really need it because they do extrude the sticky resiny wax. Mm, lovely smell. Right. So just to be on the safe side. I'll cover that with some wound sealant carefully, and that one. I'll pull away the dead needles. Then what I'll do is knock him out of the pot and get him into a half seed tray for growing on and seeing how well the experiment works out. As you can see, these candles are just starting to begin to extend here. So I'd imagine the roots are quite white and the roots will be active, judging by the ones I've worked on previously. So I'll just finish tidying. Right, so this one's growing in a uh, one litre pot, it's got some quite nice roots there, so I'll knock him out. Oh, pot to be washed. There we are, I can see the nice root tips, that means the roots are nice and active. I'll begin to gently scrape away the top layer of the compost. Really a nice, it's quite dry actually this one, that makes a change, everything's usually so wet but this one's dried out okay. So this is growing in me, normal compost mix for pines which is the normal compost mix plus extra grit. Right, I'll continue uh, breaking up the root ball. And I'll join you back in a five minutes or so. There we are. 
that I'll just cut the longer roots off so I can see what I'm working with and now I'll just begin to um, gently tease away in the middle here to get the roots to spread uh, readily away from the uh, centre of the tree there we are let's flatten the root base a bit I'm about to spread these out readily uh, I think this will fit nicely in a seed tray some nice exposed roots there I've got a couple around the other side so a little bit unbalanced but great right I'll prepare a, a half seed tray for this one and some wire there we are. I've got some wire to wire this one in and put a sprinkle of compost in the base so it's normal compost for the pine so that means a bit of extra grit so it's nicely free draining the tree I think I'll plant it at a little bit of an angle to begin with anyway and that will have these nice roots will be on show then so let's get a chopstick spread these out readily as possible to that some compost tucked all under there gently Sure, that's all going nicely underneath there. Another couple of strong wiggles. Place my wire around the trunk a few times to hold him in place. Some wire from this side. Not to wipe, carry over the needles. There we are, I think that's going to hold him okay. I'll snip the longer ends of the wire. There we are, I think that's quite firm. I've bent the ends over, tuck those out of the way. I'll just pay attention to the edge of the fibrous root pad we got. up a little bit but over the over the growing season with the watering and the compost shrinks as well as the roots expand and it will begin to expose those roots a bit more as well let's tidy the top up find a wiggle all right, I'll give that a very thorough water again and then uh, have a look on the turntable. So there we are, it's my three year old Japanese black pine. With some quite nice roots there, popped into a half seed tray for growing on, got a nice lower branch, and then we've done a massive trunk top at the a trunk chop at the top. So interesting to see if that stimulates some growth further down the trunk. And, and uh, what I can do with it f for shaping and growing on. Well, thank you very much for watching. As always, I look forward to catching up with you again very shortly. Stay safe and take care.
Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.